The Inca civilization arose from the highlands of Peru in the early 13th century. Starting from 1438, they began conquering lands surrounding the Inca heartland of Cuzco, creating the largest empire in pre-Columbian America. The coming of the Spanish conquistadors in 1532 marked an end to the short-lived Inca Empire. In this video, we explore the most impressive ancient Inca ruins. We've collected a list of the top most impressive ancient Inca ruins, so make sure to include them in your list if you're a visitor. At first in the list, number one, Machu Picchu, the most beautiful and impressive ancient Inca ruins in the world. Machu Picchu was rediscovered in 1911 by Hawaiian historian Hiram after it lay hidden for centuries above the Urubamba Valley. The Lost City of the Incas is invisible from below and completely self-contained. Surrounded by agricultural terraces and watered by natural springs. Although known locally, it was largely unknown to the outside world before being rediscovered in 1911. Number 2, Alante Tambo, during the Inca Empire. Alante Tambo was the royal estate of Emperor Pakakudi who conquered the region, built the town and a ceremonial center. At the time of the Spanish conquest of Peru, it served as a stronghold for the Inca resistance. Nowadays, the Inca ruins of Alante Tambo is an important tourist attraction and one of the most common starting points for hike known as the Inca Trail. Number 3, Chocociro. Seated on the border of Cuzco and Aparimac, Chocociro, meaning Cradle of Gold, is located 3085 meter, 10,120 feet, above sea level. The Inca ruins contains a staircase configuration, made up of 180 terraces, Built in a completely different style than Machu Picchu, Chocociro is much larger in area. One can only travel to Chocociro by foot or horseback, and as such, is visited much less often than Machu Picchu. Without benefit of wheels, the trek to Chocociro from Kakara can take up to four days. Number 4 Inca Paisac Paisac, a word of Quechua origins, means partridge. Inca tradition dictated building cities in the shape of birds and animals, and as such, Paisac is partridge-shaped. The Inca ruins included a military citadel, religious temples, and individual dwellings, and overlooks the sacred valley between the Sacante Mountains. It is thought that Paisac defended the southern entrance to the sacred valley and controlled the route which connected the Inca Empire with the border of the rain forest. Number 5. Sacsayhuaman Sacsayhuaman is an Inca walled complex high above the city of Cusco. The imperial city Cusco was laid out in the form of a puma, the animal that symbolized the Inca dynasty. The belly of the puma was the main plaza, the river Tolomeo formed its spine, and the hill of Sacsayhuaman its head. There are three parallel walls built in different levels with limestones of enormous sizes. It is suggested that the zigzagging walls represent the teeth of the puma's head. The Inca wall is built in such a way that a single piece of paper will not fit between many of the stones. Number 6. Isla del Sol Isla del Sol, Island of the Sun, is a rocky, hilly island located in the southern part of Lake Titicaca. According to the Inca religion, it was the first land that appeared after the waters of a great flood began to recede, and the sun emerged from the island to illuminate the sky once again. As the birthplace of the sun god, the Incas built several sacred sites on the island. Among these Inca ruins are the sacred rock and a labyrinth-like building called Chicana. Number 7, Lac Tapita, located at 2,840 meters, 9,318 feet, above sea level along the Inca Trail. Lac Tapita means high town in Quechua. 
It was probably used for crop production and storage. Lactapita was burned by Manco Inca Yupanqui during his retreat to discourage Spanish pursuit. In part due to these efforts, the Spanish never discovered the Inca Trail or any of its Inca settlements. Number 8. Coricancha The Coricancha in Cuzco, originally named Inti Cancha, Temple of the Sun, was the most important temple in the Inca Empire. The walls and floors were once covered in sheets of solid gold, and the courtyard was filled with golden statues. Like so many other Inca monuments it was severely devastated by the conquistadors, who built a Christian church, Santo Domingo, on top of the ruins. Major earthquakes have severely damaged the church, but the Inca stone walls, built out of huge, tightly interlocking blocks of stone, still stand thanks to the sophisticated stone masonry of the Incas. Number 9. Wene Wena. The Inca site of Wene Wena is built into a hillside overlooking the Urubamba River. It is located on, on the Inca Trail and, like today, may have served as a rest stop for weary travelers on their way to the famous Machu Picchu. The Inca ruins of Wene Wena consists of upper and lower house complexes connected by a staircase and fountain structures. Beside the houses lies an area of agricultural terraces. At last in the list, number 10, Moray. Moray is an Incan agricultural laboratory that was likely used to cultivate resistant and hardy varieties of plants high in the Andes. The site contains several circular terraces that could be used to study the effects of different climatic conditions on crops as the lower terraces have lower temperatures. The deepest crater is about 150 meters, 492 feet, deep with a temperature difference of up to 15 degrees Celsius between the top and the bottom level. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite most impressive ancient Inca ruins. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.